Welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days here on Our Wyoming Life. My name is Mike. This fence right here needs to go, and it needs to go in style. Well, that's one way to do it. That was probably more fun than should be allowed. Jeff, how are you today? I'm good, good. So uh, I don't think this method is gonna go <laughs> all the way through, but it was fun. I, su I suggest you, you try it. At least once. At huh? least once. I mean, <laughs> there is something to be said for tweels, getting a little aggression out, a little stress relief, yeah. breaking some stuff, yeah. not a bad deal at all. Let's uh, step in here for the last time into this windbreak. Move the board with the big nails in it. Jeff, are you still skinny enough to get through there? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, wind is kicking up out here, but uh, it doesn't really matter because we are gonna be deconstructing uh, a couple fences here as we get moving on our feedlot program and our uh, RV parking, uh, which will be available for pretty much anybody who wants to come and stay on the ranch through Harvest Hosts. And also on our website, you can go to our website, rwildandlife.com and book your stay there. You just have to book it, it's totally free. We ask that you just shop at the farm store. Um, if you want power, that kind of stuff, it does run a little bit extra. And there is a tour available every single morning done by Jeff and myself. I, I kind of missed the tour a little bit. Yeah. It was it, fun. It's gonna take a minute to get back into it and remember everything. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Might have to go back and watch a video or something. Yeah. All right, so in order to get this done though, we've got a little bit of deconstruction to do and that is these two fences here. This fence and this fence, what do you say? Probably about 100 feet of fence on each side? At least. Um, that all needs to come out. Now we do have posts and stuff in here that we can save, but I'm not worried about saving any of the wood. I think it's all pretty much shot. All this tin is pretty much tore up. It'll be nice to get this out of here and start cleaning up this area as well. This shed is gonna stay here. Our feedlot is gonna extend out that way. The folks from AeroQuip are hooking us up with a new loadout system. So we're gonna put that down on the end, but all that is in the future, way far in the future, even hard to picture. Can't even see it right now. All I wanna see is a big flat area. So Jeff and I uh, kind of have a plan. Pretty much. All right, you, do you know what that plan is? Take fence down. Take fence down, no doubt. Uh, this fence is actually, I just noticed, it does have some lag bolts in it. So we might be better off to just come through and run and take out all these lag bolts. We'll probably be able to reuse them somewhere. And then we can push this fence in yeah. and then probably just drag it out. This one, I think it's just gonna fall apart. It, you yeah, know. The, between the posts will. It's yeah. pretty rotten. And, and we can just run into that with the skid steer. Boom, 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 and just push all those down and out. Uh, we'll probably save that panel down there that you used. And then we're taking it out all the way down there to that gate. That opens up this entire area where the RV park will be back here, feedlot over there, and a uh, whole lot of work left to do. But this is the first step yep. in getting that done. So Make room for the big machinery. Yeah, exactly. Next week we've got a, a dozer on the way, a Komatsu. It's somewhere between a D7 and a D8 dozer, whatever that means. <laughs> um, and a, a grader coming in, start leveling ground and get some stuff done there. Uh, back hose, it's going to be like a regular construction site around here. So wear your mask and your... Do you have an orange helmet? No. We might have to get you one. What do, what do the supervisors wear? Do they wear white? I, yeah, I do have a white hard hat. There you go, white hard <laughs> hat. We'll put Jeff in the white hard hat. We'll put him in charge of things. Um, so also this afternoon, we just, we still have to pack orders 
get those off. Um, and we might actually, Jeff, I think we might divide and conquer. Yeah. I might go over and work on orders. You can stay here and just keep on tearing stuff out. Um, let's go back on the other side really quick and talk about how far we have to haul this stuff away. So this is Erin's old garden, which she did give us permission to destroy as long as we build her a new one. And that's part of this whole new project. New garden is going to go somewhere that way. Uh, the RV park goes all the way down to the end of this fence. It's about 175 feet or something like that, if I remember right. It might be longer. I don't know. Um, I can't remember. I anything. thought it was 250. 250. Let's call it 250. <laughs> so 250 feet all the way down that way. So basically anything that we haul out of here, we have to get back beyond that or out of the way somewhere. We could take it just around the corner there too. Um, but that's, uh, that's our distance. We'll be doing a lot of dirt work, but for now, it's all about demolition. So I made a mess, didn't I? Yeah. Up in the morning, in this great blue state, golden finger, caress my face, slip through the window on a silky breeze. Dreamers lie, the plants on the sea. All my doubts, a lighted mirror reflecting out every true potential. Then I could eat in a lively block, set this bird free. Every element of fate, every color that's attached, she makes pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ancient memory. Just as fleeting as a breeze She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea How we lay in the sunset Walk out in June The body sings And I join the tune All the silence calling Leave their trees But a peace pervades us And the dreamers dream From every element of makes Every color that's a taste She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea For the ancient memories Just as fleeting as a breeze She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea like my high school girlfriend we're on again and we're off again but it seems to be calming down just a little bit we've got a lot of fence knocked down already very quick work great for the soul jeff is in the process of dragging this old fence out of here he's just taking it straight back dropping it off in the pasture back there um, no animals like you like you saw what a couple days ago we got all the animals out of here so now having this wide open really is not a big deal um, we can start pulling fences fence posts on this side 
all these fence posts need to come out. Jeff's going to continue cleaning all this up, and uh, I'll start getting this stuff over here into a pile. on orders okay need orders do you want to just continue just finish up the cleanup yep okay I, I took most of the wood up there but there is still little tiny pieces you can just throw them in the bucket probably the easiest way to move them okay and we'll then do. I tried to pile some stuff up for you but I don't know if it worked or not I think it'll all stay together I hope so unless another gust like that comes then it might take the whole tractor across the road yeah no doubt that was ridiculous that was bad I, I felt like I was getting shot at in the back <laughs> without the gunshots <laughs> all right man I will uh, I'll be back over because we'll see what it looks like at the end and we'll throw the drone up and hopefully yeah, and, uh, yeah we might throw with the drone up to Moorcroft <laughs> and get a good shot of Mount Rushmore as we fly by <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah okay okay pretty quick work tearing stuff out like I said very therapeutic it feels good all right we're gonna head over to our garage where we're gonna pack uh, beef orders, pe uh, beef and pork orders. You guys have seen us do that before here in the 30 and 30. We have to do it every single week because those orders, they keep on rolling in. And that's definitely not a bad thing. We're all ready to go, Matt? Yeah. We got boxes, we've got Ice is ready, scales ready, boxes ready. Just need uh, nipples and air cheat sheets. Somewhere up 
sleep repeat Seems like yesterday I was 17 Running boot lanes and drawers and screens Now I'm running up dead and I'm scrambling to make ends meet So work, sleep, repeat Ton of orders ready to go. Out the door. The uh, pork chop package. Super popular. Awesome, because we got rid of like 70 pounds of pork chops. Yeah. So yeah. that makes a little bit of room in the freezer, right? It does, yeah. Yeah. Any new packages coming up that you can think of off the top of your head? Um, just kind of tweaking stuff. We're out of steak still, except for T-bones. Beef cut sheets went yesterday, so we're getting close to getting more beef back. Um, and we're getting towards the end of pork. Pork goes next week. Yeah, so. Or two weeks or something. We're getting close. So. Won't be long. We'll be completely restocked. Then, of course, new packages come out then yeah. as well, or just the old packages come the old back. Old packages come back and so. stuff. But I did put inventory's already done. I'm like on top of things. Sweet. You have a couple little edits to do that I don't know how to fix on the website. Right. But yeah, I updated packages. and But we're sold out of stew meat. I think I have four packages of stew meat left. Sold out of cube steak out of rump roast, like just more stuff gets crossed off the list, which is great. <laughs> which is awesome. Thank you guys very much. Thank and uh, you. thank you for whoever's idea was to do the 10 pound pork chop package. I should go back and look at my email because it was somebody's idea. I have no idea. We got rid of dog bones. Was. You guys want 10 pounds of dog bones? Ooh, there's an idea. 10 pounds of dog bones. <laughs> beef Shipping's bones. Beef bones, yeah. Yeah, shipping's really expensive for like a pretty low value item, but they're really good for bone broth and stuff like that, so. Very cool. If you I like that idea, let us know. Um, I'm gonna go check back in with Jeff and then we're gonna go check cows and meet a new calf that was born just today. Stick around. All I ever do is work, sleep, repeat. All I ever do is work, sleep, repeat. All right, back over here to check in on Jeff and see how things are going over here. I can tell that they're going really well. Well, that's not right. No, that's left. Yeah, so I'm guessing just all the other tires just blew right up it on did. you. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my sign. <laughs> uh, valve stem, is that what you were saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, just a broken valve stem. Oh, that might be an easy fix. Or it might be a pain in the butt. Yeah. All right. Like well. it just, that screws off. Yeah, it just screws off and then it should tighten back on, but it might have actually broken if you hit Inside, it on something. Uh, I don't think I came that close to anything. Well, 
I don't know. Do you want me to take you across and you can get some tools and see what you can figure out? Sure. Okay, cool. Honestly, I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. And I'm kind of surprised there's not a giant nail sticking out of it. So, good job, Jeff. I've been very careful not I to know. run over. Oh, trust lumber. me. This is why I hate doing this stuff with the tractor, just because there's nails and spikes and doodads and bad things. And it makes me wonder if Michelin makes wheels for John Deere tractors. <laughs> I wish they did. I wish they did. All right. I'm going to take you across. You can get back, right? With some stuff, whatever yeah. you need. Yeah. Um, the little portable pancake compressor, you can grab that. I'm going to run out and check cows really quick. And then we'll be back over to see how you're doing. Okay. Okay. Back right after this car accident. He broke it. He buys it. <laughs> You want to buy a tractor? <laughs> sure. Or at least a tire. You're going to yeah. carry the paper on it? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I can't get financed. I don't know if we can. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, grab whatever you need, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right, while Jeff gets to work on that, we're going to head out and meet our calf. Brand new one, number 15, born this morning. We're going to see if we can find it. Sneaky little bugger. Um, Jeff went out and checked about six o'clock. He didn't see the calf. Um, I went out about eight to feed, a little bit, a little bit after maybe. And that's what I, that's when I found it. And uh, it was dry and up and ready to go. So we managed to get it tagged. Mom had actually wandered off to eat, of course, because I went out and fed. So. There was no mom with it, so we had to wait a little while just to figure out who the mom was uh, when she came back looking for her calf, and it turned out to be number 186. Yep, 186 is the mom. So we find her, and we'll find our new calf. Number 186 with our brand new calf, a little boy. Brand new to the ranch. Got another calf over here. We're just gonna check in on really quick and then we'll take a look at our total so far. There's number five, the other half of our twins. He's doing great. So is his sister at the barn. Uh, I have so much fun feeding her at night. I wish I could bring you along every single night for it, but she uh, gets out of her corral and she just wants to run around like crazy. Uh, today we were actually planning on bringing her over to the house and letting her play in the yard and we never did get around to it. Things just got a little busy, so maybe tomorrow we'll get a chance to do that. Heading back towards Jeff, making sure everything's okay over there. And uh, we'll get you cut loose for the day. Really quick, looking at our total so far, 14 calves on the ground, 15 calves born so far. We're looking at six bulls and eight heifers. All right, Jeff, what's the verdict? Looks like the rubber seal on the valve stem may be hardened. Oh, okay. 
came uh, went bad. Well, it's not like it's dry here or anything. No, and yeah. <laughs> all the moisture we've been getting the last few months. <laughs> no, right, we should have been out. Actually, we should go rub them all down with Vaseline or something. <laughs> Everything will seal on the place. All right, so we can get enough air in this to limp it home, and then we'll have to pull the tire, replace the valve stem, or just pull the tire and take it to town and let somebody else mess with it. Or have them come out and do it. Yeah, I'm not paying somebody to come out. I'll, I'll take it off and drive it to town. That'll be $500 <laughs> service call. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's the front tire, so it's not horrible. Our back tires are actually filled with beet juice, which makes a giant <laughs> pain in the butt. These ones aren't bad. They're just regular old tires, so we can we can make that work. So, yeah, let's just limp this back home. and uh, or, Well, not really limp it, but drive it back yeah, home. I'm going to put some more. I just got to wait. Got to fill the tank back up oh gotcha okay and cool it's deal. noisy so yeah no doubt <clears throat> all right um so we're done though pretty much over here with cleanup yeah. right i mean maybe some hand cleanup to do a little bit but uh much. yeah you did a pretty good job and uh yeah it looks great to me the dozer will do the rest i'm ready for that dozer to come in here and get to work man i'm ready to make something happen and and get something over here and yeah yeah it's an exciting time for our wyoming life it's That's an exciting it time for somebody Alrighty guys, that's it for us today. Glad you got to see our new calf, number 15. What's the what's the mom's number? 186. Good job, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> white. <laughs> red cow. Red cow, white tag. White tag. Um, we will be back tomorrow where we've got even more going on. I don't know what we've got going on tomorrow. You got any plans for tomorrow? Uh, uh, maybe air equip work. Oh yeah, we might do that. We've got uh, we've got some scales to put in, so if it's nice enough, we can get to that. Might be able to get that done tomorrow. That'd be a good thing. And uh, we are forecast for rain and snow tonight, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Alrighty, guys. Uh, until then, take it easy, and thanks for joining us in the 30 and 30, right here on our Wyoming Life.